Hello everyone, welcome to day 14th of April Leap Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanjay Tudeja, I am working as software developer for at Adobe and here I present day 658 of daily Leap Code Challenge. The question that we have in today is search in a binary search tree. Here in this question we are given a binary search tree root and we need to, we are also given an integer value. We need to identify that particular node in the BST where the node's value happens to be equal to the val that is given to us. If no such node exists, we should return null in those cases. I believe most of you are able to solve this question by yourself. I am just making the video for the sake of consistency. Here in this question, we are given an example too, wherein this is a binary research tree and we are looking for the node with value 2. Now let's start the iteration. Those steps are really simple. These are like two corner cases. If my root is null, I simply return the root. If my root dot val happens to the value that I am searching for, I simply return the root. And in case my root dot val happens to be of lower value than the value I'm looking for, that means I should move towards the right direction because on the right side of the root, there will be greater values. Otherwise, for the case where my root dot val is of more value than the value I'm searching for, then what should I do? I should move towards the left direction. Why left direction? Because the right part of the tree will have lower values in comparison with the root as per the definition of a binary search tree. The time complexity of this approach turns out to be log n. Why log n? Because you are you're making a decision always whether to move to in the right direction or the left direction. There is no case where you are moving in both the directions. Had it been the case we are moving in both the directions, the time complexity would have been order of n. The space complexity is again equal to the height of the binary search tree which is given by order of log n. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.